Hello, this is Jim McKeith, developer evangelist for REM Object Software. I'm here to tell you about some of the new IDE enhancements that come with Oxygen 5. First of all, the Oxygen compiler now comes in two flavors. Oxygen for .NET, which powers Embarcadero Prism, and the new Oxygen for Java and Android. These both use the same Oxygen language, but make use of the different frameworks. All of these IDE enhancements work with both flavors of Oxygen making Oxygen the only language you need. Compilers are great at picking up on little errors in your code. This is one you've probably gotten before. You've mistyped the name of your type here, and so instead of being string, it's sturgeon or something or other. So it's saying unknown type string. Now, there are actually three things going on here I want to point out to you. The first is there's a little magic wand here. This is telling you that we have the new fix it feature. But another thing before I fix it here is used to be that if you had compiled something and you had had the type wrong here, down here it would not know the type of S. And so it would give you an error message and say, I don't know how, I don't know how to call two upper on this unknown type. I don't know what type it is. And so it give you two error messages. And so you make a simple error and all of a sudden, boom, you have 25 error messages and like, I don't know where to start. And it's all, you fix one error, boom, it fixes everything. Not anymore. Now the compiler says, hey, you know what? This is all one error message. So let's assume they fix this error message and then we'll carry on. And so now we don't have the whole laundry list of error messages that don't mean anything. We just have the one that is the source of problem. And like I said, this has the little fix it magic wand on it here. So when I click on this, it comes up here and says unknown type and it says fixes replace spelling replace this crazy thing with string. So two things here. First of all is we have a spell checker in here now for if you misspell things, it will say, oh, they probably meant this. So that's really convenient. And second of all is the magic wand fix it. Every time you get a compiler message, it says, hey, this is wrong. You're like, well, if that's wrong and you know it's wrong, why don't you just fix it? Well, now it can. Just click here. It fixes it. And now it compiles just fine. Here I have an error from the compiler telling me I can't compare a string and an int32. Now I'm looking at this here, and because I'm not using Hungarian notation, I don't know which one of these is a string and which one of these is int32. But when I click on this line, then I get these error regions here, and it tells me where the error is coming from. So it says this is the comparison that's failing from this being compared to this. So this is a string, and this is an int32. And so that's what I need to fix. Sometimes when we get a compiler error, it's only giving us half the story. It doesn't tell us enough information to solve the error. That's where error notes come in. When I compile this, we get a duplicate method of foo with the same signature. But where's the other foo? By double-clicking on the error, it brings up this error note. Double-clicking on the error note takes us to the location of the other foo. Now we have the rest of the story, and we're able to fix this error. You may find yourself with non-oxygen code you would like to use in your application. This could be some legacy code you need to move forward, or a code sample you found online that you'd like to make use of in your application. For example, I have a simple factorial routine here written in C-sharp. Paste it into my Oxygen application here, and you'll see that it, of course, doesn't work. Luckily, there's a solution for that. Instead of just pasting it, if I come here to the Oxidizer option, you'll see I have a paste C-sharp as Oxygen and a paste Delphi 132 as Oxygen. Since this is C-sharp code, I'll choose paste C-sharp as Oxygen, and I just have to add this into my class. It doesn't by default add it to your class because, well, it doesn't know what class you want to put it into. And hit compile or build, and it all builds just fine. So it automatically converted it from the C-sharp syntax into the Oxygen syntax. The great thing about C-sharp is it's using the same .NET framework, so it all works out okay. You will notice that it explicitly uses all the types 
here. So it uses system.int64 instead of the shortcuts that maybe we're more used to. It all works out to be the same code. There's another way you can use this though. Instead of pasting it through the clipboard, come over here and right click and choose add. And you can choose from import C sharp or import Delphi Win32. And actually I guess it should say Delphi native since Delphi comes in a 64 bit version now. So you would choose what you want to import and import it. This would convert the entire source file or the entire Delphi unit. So let's go ahead and do that with a Delphi file here. And right here, this is a unit that implements Nicholas Wirth's solving of the eight queens problem. So I choose open and it converts that and adds it to my project. So now if I just come in here, I need to change the uses clause because I'm not using the VCL anymore. I'm using the .NET framework. So this would be system.collections.generic. And my generic list is not T list anymore. It's just list. Just go to move that from there. And if I hit build, it works. So just to verify this here, here's the original one in Delphi. I run this. There's the output I get. Come back over to my .NET application and uncomment the code to call this worth eight queens unit. So the unit name becomes the namespace by default when you import it. And now if I run this, get the exact same output. To learn more about these and other features of Oxygen, please visit OxygenLanguage.com.